I am the friendly neighborhood me and as you can see from the thumbnail, we are creating the best textures for original created wrestlers. However, that doesn't mean this method won't work for the likes of your Kenny Omega, MGFs, people in AEW, New Japan, that sort of thing. We're going to get into it in just a moment. But if you are new to the channel, let me just explain a little bit about myself because I have been on a little bit of hiatus due to work commitments. I am the friendly neighborhood movement. I regularly create original created wrestlers, arenas and championships on WWE 2K games. Also, you might find some on um, Fire Pro and Journey of Wrestling as well. Like that. But they're all from the PWA universe. So that's the Pure Wrestling Alliance. Pure wrestlers, pure talent. Okay? I create original stuff that you can download for your universe mode. Now, I've always been looking at methods of how you can really give character and texture or whatever it is you want to describe it as for original created wrestlers so they stand out from the crowd. My aim is to be one of the best that does original stuff. So if you do like original stuff, I am going to be the page, the, con the, the, the YouTube channel to follow. This tutorial is in a few steps. You are going to need a PC and some form of editing software. I will go through the steps with you to make your textures really, really pop. Recently, I've had really, really good feedback. You can see from the thumbnail of my Jacob Cass court. Yes, that Jacob Cass from WWE 12. I've carried on his legacy since then. But it will show you how good the textures can be. And the feedback recently from some of the creations that I've released have been really, really, really positive. And people have been asking me how I go about it. So you're going to need to follow the steps a few things. You are going to need an editing software, as I said, Familiar with AI face swapper and familiar with an AI upscale and I'll go over my preferred ones in a minute. The first thing we're going to have a go straight to though is this website here is what I'm currently using. I've got a paid subscription to it so I've got all these credits and the, the premise is so my Jacob Cass is inspired by the whole he's now in the tag team called Hollywood. So you will see that he is um, I've used Zac Efron as, an, as a reference. You just upload a Zac Efron picture um, on on that one and then you, you want your default texture there now if you need a default texture just google ww2k default texture or if you join my patreon in the link below there is a free texture in there that you can use as the this is the one i've actually used on this demonstration i'm not going to go too much into this bit because most people know how to use it if you don't want to use this website i will just google ai face swap and find the one that works best for you once you've finished this part of the video okay you will come into your editing software now i am using the diffract um template which gives you this guide okay and as you can see there's my ai generated um version of zac efron um mixed with a, a face texture and it works really well if you especially be, if you're in a pinch you could just use this but i'm going to go a bit further so i use affinity photo photoshop's very similar very similar to photoshop um you can also use a free one i used to use called gimp but we're gonna all the methods will be similar and you do controls you might just need to be filling in with there's a couple of filters that you are going to get familiar with but the first thing i am going to do is start taking um this outer layer off and start blending it into the background okay so i'm going to I always try to go one side of the face and then the top here, first of all. And then what I'll do is I'll go to my skin tones, which is the one below. Again, if you Google defract face texture template, you will find what I'm on about. Now, I, I think that's actually matching up quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with the rest of it. And I want to I wanna get most of this hair off, his, off the side of him here. Um, and I'm going to just continue down here. Now, as a principal texture, this will work pretty well but this is a detailed texture tutorial so we are going to be doing quite a lot of things and i'm going to try and um de-age this texture a little bit um, in a moment but what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go to the bottom one now and i'm just going to adjust the brightness a little bit just to match it with what we've got on the top and maybe bring the contrast a little bit up now i think that's pretty much perfect now next thing i'm going to do is bring me a razor down and the opacity down and i'm just going to go over the edge of the texture okay now this is the bit where i can start de-aging it a little bit i can go get rid of some of these lines here okay i wouldn't want to do too much editing at this point on the actual thing so but i am going to maybe bru brush his cheeks a little bit i mean he is a hollywood actor who doesn't do that sort of thing these days and i'm going to just slightly go over that now what we want to work on now is i'm going to get so this is one of the first method you want to be familiar with these are the important parts now so you want a separate layer you might want to save it at this point okay but i'm going to do it all in one take um and then i'm going to get my color picker and i've got some issues now with just a bit of light here darkness under the eyes and this bright spot on his nose so what i'm going to do first of all is tackle the nose so i'm going to go to the image where zac efron is pick a color nearby go back to my pixel 
and I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to make sure it is that colour there and I want to make it darken. Now from afar you can see that's darkened that patch on his nose. Now I'm going to do the same up here. I'm going to just make my stroke a little bit bigger. Okay, because what we're aiming for is even lighting across the face texture. And then in game, you will see a difference because if you don't get rid of these, it will make a massive difference. Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is tackle the bits under the eyes. I don't need to do too much. There's just a little bit of a dark patch here that can make them a bit odd in game. It's not a massive deal. I'm going to take a pick colour here, okay, and then I'm going to pick my brush again. And this time I'm going to make sure my blend mode is on lighten, and I'm going to bring it right down. I've got 20% opacity, and I'm just going to briefly go over them, okay? Now you notice that I've done it on the actual um, Zac Efron layer. I wouldn't advise doing that because if you've made mistakes, it's tough. Now, this is a texture. It's probably going to work pretty good, to be honest. Um, there isn't a bit of a thing I'm going to do just slightly. I'm going to darken his nose a little bit because that goes into the rest of the texture and I'm going to darken patches here, darken patches here. Now with a texture, that'll be good to go, okay? Now what I'm going to do though is I am going to export this bit now, okay? And I'm going to re-edit it in a moment. You'll see why. So um, I'm just going to put it here for now. Um, okay, right. Now my preferred upscaling one is Upscale. This is a free app that you can get for PC. What I'm gonna do now is find that face texture that I've just uploaded, okay? And I'm gonna upscale this now, okay? While that's doing, I'm gonna delete everything that you can see here, okay? That's done. Right, so as you can see, once you run it through the upscaler, right, if I just bring this across, you will just see it makes everything a little bit more poppy, okay? now. I did have a bit of an issue with that. I've, you won't see it because it's been edited out, but it did seem to go a bit glitchy and just give me a blank screen. But I've used the ultra sharp mix on there, but there's different versions you can do it. It's been on a speedy PC and stuff like that, but it's free. And this is my, I don't have to come out of my PC and do it on my phone. You will find this very well. But again, if you just Google AI upscaler, you'll find plenty of sites and stuff that do this bit for you. You will need to come do this at the end. So it's worth keeping this open. Okay, so. Now we've done that bit, we're going to come back in this on a free, on a new default template. Now the only reason we're doing it is just so we can make sure everything matches. So I'm going to put my, my snapper back on, turned it off by accident, and I make sure I put the guide over it. Yeah, right, good. Now, this is where the magic happens. There's a couple of things we want to do to this texture to make it really, really pop. And this is some live filters. Now depending on <coughs> if you're using Photoshop or if you're using GIMP, I use Affinity Photo. And I use live filters. And the first one you want to have a look at will be high pass. If you're not familiar with that, you'll see in a moment that I'm going to change the mode to uh, merge to overlay. And as you see, if you watch it, we've got a straight thing. You can see it makes some of the parts pop. That will do for me. So I'm going to merge that. Okay. And then the next one I'm going to add is clarity. Okay. Um, now, again, if you look at this, if you, if you put it right up and down as an overlay, you can see it brings out different things. Strong you do, look that you can really, really bring out some details. So you can have a play about of it and what works best for you. I try and go about there. As you can see now, if you go into it, it's bringing out the detail of his face, more detail everywhere, okay? Those are the two that I use that really bring out everything. Now, what you can now, what I would now do is I will export this as my F from one again, okay? And then I'm going to re-upscale it, okay? Now, once it's upscaled again, I will just make sure, I chose the wrong one, one second. Once it's upscaled again, you can see we're onto a good one. And that, to be honest, is it. <laughs> uh, we got there in the end. Those are the steps you just want to make. And then once you're in game, I mean, I've got another separate video on morphing and how to make sure everything applies, especially if you are making original content. But that's the sort of processes you want to be following to make a really good detailed um, face texture. Okay. Only little minor things you need to do. Best tips to go do is any editing you are doing to the actual face, make sure it's on the next on another layer um, and I would highly recommend some of the software that I am using uh, especially Tiffinity Photo because it's a one-off payment um, and you got it for life okay I am the friend of the neighborhood moving you can help and subscribe to the channel and you can help with paid non-paid things in Patreon my Discord follow me on Twitter I'm on Blue Sky as well um, I'm releasing shorts all the time with highlights of my universe mode or just wrestlers that I'm doing um, follow me down below all the links and socials and everything like that. And a friend of the neighborhood moving, make sure you tell someone that you love them. Peace, I'll see you on the next one.